A mission and a purpose drive everything from trousers to plate carriers. In this video, we'll discuss the equipment and tactical uniforms used by our military and law enforcement. While a shirt can be worn to make a statement, tactical gear carries extra ammo and magazines, provides fire protection, or supports a hip carried pistol. But before going ahead, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and watch this video till the end to know about every detail of these 12 must-have tactical gears and gadgets. Tactical Backpacks In recent years, tactical backpacks for operators and civilians have grown in popularity. Regardless of who they're designed for, these tactical bags for weapons share a few features, such as M-O-L-L-E webbing and morale patch velcro. Tactical backpacks, for example, almost always include gun-carrying straps. They also typically have covert zipper compartments for concealing weaponry. These bags have the same capacity for deep organization, meaning they can hold much gear. They may also have the ability to expand and store water bladders and body armor templates. Boots Soldiers must be able to move freely. Therefore, boots are one of the most important factors in allowing operators to be mobile. A well-designed and well-constructed pair of tactical boots allow the wearer to traverse various terrain with minimal strain and risk of injury. A good pair of boots will always guide you in the right direction, whether attacking or retreating. A great pair of boots will have a lightweight design, durability, waterproof nature, and proper breathability. Body Armor The increasing prevalence of active shooter scenarios worldwide may be credited with raising public awareness of the critical role body armor plays in saving lives. The ability of modern body armor to be fitted into plate carriers or specialized pockets and tactical shirts and tactical vests demonstrates its versatility. In addition, it has different levels including Level 2A, Level 2, Level 3A, Level 3, and level 4. The body armor rated 2A can stop low velocity 9mm and 40 caliber handgun rounds. Body armor with a level 2 rating protects against bullets of higher caliber and velocity, ranging from 9mm to 0.357 magnums. Body armor rated level 3A protects against bullets as large as 0.44 magnum. This is a thicker, more durable layer of body armor with a long-lasting texture. Level 3A armor includes Kevlar shields and other non-wearable bulletproof implements. Level 3 body armor can stop rifle shots, including 7.62mm bullets from an AK-47. Because it is often made of hard plates, Level 3 armor is significantly bulkier and heavier than Level 2 armor. Body armor of Level 4 protects against armor piercing bullets of up to 0.30 caliber. Thick hard plates designed to mount to a carrier are commonly used to achieve this performance. Level 4 armor is so heavy that only operators with the necessary strength and endurance can wear it. It's intended for use in battle or tense gunfights. Holsters Carrying bullet firing weapons is just as important as carrying bullet stopping equipment. As a result, holsters are an essential piece of tactical equipment. The best holsters give you an advantage by allowing you to quickly and easily reach your firearm. Holsters can be worn on the inside or outside of your belt, shoulder or lower legs, and can be designed for open or covered carry. Wrist Mount and Display Carrying a large amount of high-tech equipment has drawbacks. For example, one device may come with multiple accessories, all of which include chargers. That is why the Army hopes to combine several devices into a single wrist computer. The Army Research Laboratory is developing such a computer with the assistance of HP Labs, which should weigh less than half a pound, 227 grams. The device's flexible 2x3 inch, 5x7.6 centimeter screen serves as its foundation. The device makes use of a very thin layer of transistors that interact with an electronic screen to convert data signals into grayscale images. When attached to a soldier's wrist, the display will serve as a hub for sending and receiving vital information via data and radio transmissions, among other tasks. And like so many military-inspired devices, this one will undoubtedly have plenty of commercial applications, ranging from floppy ebooks to stretchy cell phones to TV screens that you can roll up and carry in your gym bag. Tactical Belts The design and function of a tactical belt are to support the weight of any additional gear you connect to it, such as holsters, weapons, pouches, cases, and pretty much anything else you'd rather not have to carry around in your hands all the time. Tactical Clothing Tactical gear is what you wear to blend in with your surroundings while still performing at your best on missions. This implies that the clothing is designed to keep you warm or cool, comfortable and shaft-free, even if you have to wear it for days at a time without being able to wash it. 
camouflage shirts for blending in and cargo pants for carrying gear are excellent examples of tactical clothing. Cargo pants became popular in the entertainment and music industries, from cargo pants to combat pants. They were worn on stage by a variety of performers, including urban hip-hop vocalists. These pants were popular not only for the functionality, but also for their ability to make a fashion statement. Combat pants, on the other hand, aren't about making a bold fashion statement. Instead, it's all about completing the mission. Tactical Watches You must arrive on time if you are on a purpose or mission-driven operation. In some ways, it's only natural to want to wear a high-quality tactical watch. Tactical watches are extremely durable. The most recent versions can even track biometrics, providing data such as heart and respiration rates, body temperature, and other pertinent information about your body's current state. Helmet-Mounted Radar the figurative phase Fog of War can have literal meaning for soldiers on the ground. Smoke, darkness, shrubs, walls, and dust storms obscure the troops' view of the battlefield, resulting in a vast array of potentially lethal scenarios. Enemies, particularly those hiding in urban jungles, could be lurking around every corner. But what if a soldier had the ability to detect enemies running through a smoke screen or behind a concrete wall? That is the concept behind the helmet-mounted radar systems that are currently being developed. The helmet-mounted radar program hopes to provide 360-degree coverage to soldiers via moving target indicator sensors that can see movement up to 25 meters, or 82 feet away. The entire system should weigh less than 2.5 pounds, or 1.1 kilograms, with the helmet bearing less than half of that weight. As a result, soldiers will be able to detect motion, which will alert them to potential ambushes. Gloves Scaling cliffs, climbing ropes, or even digging trenches can all cause serious hand injury over time. As a result, gloves are an essential component of tactical gear. The better made they are, the better job they do of protecting your hands. In terms of foot protection, a good pair of tactical socks is the ideal complement to a good pair of gloves. In addition, certain tactical gloves have padded knuckles for combat use. Wearable Fuel Cells High-tech tools necessitate a lot of power. This is a problem in combat zones where power supplies may be destroyed or inaccessible. Soldiers must return to base to recharge critical equipment such as night vision goggles, environmentally controlled clothing, radios, handheld computers, mine detectors, range finders, infrared sights, and other tools when their gadgets' batteries run out. The Department of Defense sponsored the Wearable Power Prize competition to find new solutions to this challenge. 169 teams registered, with DuPont and a German company called SFC Smart Fuel Cell AG taking first place for their M25 fuel cell. The M25 is a wearable power source that uses direct methanol technology in conjunction with fuel cells. The end result, a device that is 80% lighter than conventional batteries while providing continuous power for at least 72 hours. The M25 can continuously deliver a minimum of 20 watts with short bursts of 200 watts. That's a significant increase in performance, more than three times the power supply soldiers now carry in the field. Moreover, that's enough power to keep navigation and communication systems operational during long-duration missions where charging stations are scarce iPod Touch Aside from a rifle, an iPod Touch or iPhone may become one of the most important tools a US soldier carries in the future. If you're skeptical that a consumer product can be that useful in war zones, remember that iPods are more than just music players. They're miniature computers with a proven track record of adaptability and durability. The military applications for iPods are virtually limitless iPods have a wide range of potential functions, and governments and software developers can collaborate to create new applications, or apps in Apple Speak, for almost any task. Furthermore, because the majority of soldiers already own an iPod Touch, training sessions and their associated costs are minimal. So, stay tuned and subscribe for more.